Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. And uh, I thought I'd just let you see what I'm doing today. I am working on the Tempo Dress from Love Notions. I got the top of it pretty much put together over here on my mannequin. And uh, now I'm just going to start on the, on the uh, bottom part of it. And I'm attaching the pockets and I'm going to run over there and sew them and then sew the side seams and then put the gather in and hopefully I'll get this done today. And the other thing that I'm working on today is I'm taking all my measurements because I'm thinking about buying a dress form and uh, I don't want to make one. I just I want it to come and be as close to me as possible. So I've been looking online for a couple different places to get one because I really want to start working with um, drafting or just kind of creating my own type of necklines and sleeves and you know, I, I guess that's called drafting. But uh, I would really like to be able to have something close to what I'm, my body is and be able to put it on there and you know, pinch it here and tuck it there and I that's where I'm going with this uh, sewing this year anyway. So we'll see. <laughs> Sometimes I get something started and go for a while and get frustrated and I give up. So I'm hoping I don't do that because um, I enjoy sewing, but I think I'd enjoy it a whole lot more if I understood where I need to do the tucking and the pinching and the, you know, darting and all that other stuff. If you know of any uh, nice uh, body forms or dress forms or I do want it with the hips I think on it and maybe the part of the leg because I want to get into pant making and I'd like to be able to put it up on them legs and kind of see how it fits on the on the waist so and in the crotch curve so if you know of any dress forms um, to order put it in the comments for me so I can kind of uh, research them a little bit I certainly would appreciate that I'm going to finish up my uh, tempo dress today so I can show it to you on Friday sews. Maybe I'll take you over there to the sewing machine and let you see me sewing. Not that that's exciting, but uh, I just kind of, it's Sunday, and I just kind of wanted you to see what I'm doing today. Uh, Pastor Hagee was awesome today. It was uh, the son that preached and, you know, talking about the situation going on in the world and where Christians' faith is supposed to our faith is in God not in government so it was a real good sermon today and I'll put a link in the description where you can uh, watch Pastor Hagee his name is Matthew Hagee and also the uh, Grace for Purpose I listen to that every day and that was really good today too so it always seems like it's something I need to hear right at the right time uh, we, I went out to lunch with my sisters yesterday, and we had a blast. My older sister is 75, and then my next sister is 70. And the one that doesn't leave the house uh, will be 69 this September. And then I'm 66, and we have a brother that is 60. Well, his birthday's coming up July 19th. So I think he'll be 63, 63, 64, somewhere around there. But uh, so we're all up in the 60 club, and now moving into the 70s club. <laughs> Funny, we're the next generation, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to get to sewing. I got to keep my mind busy. I got to keep myself busy. I got to stay off my bum the best I can today because it is sore. It is sore. It is sore. Sitting on hard seats really is, you know, and that doctor just all he, I said, I need another shot. Now he won't give me another shot. Uh, there's got to be something more I can do. So if you ever heard of bursitis in the tailbone and know any Thing I could ask my doctor to help oh please let me know that too but um, I was in pain pretty much last night after I came home sitting on a hard chair and uh, trying to get up is almost almost impossible at times uh, it takes me five minutes sometimes 
I might be exaggerating a little bit, to get out of a chair. I mean, I have to slowly let the pain get in my brain and then get up. I mean, this isn't, this isn't the way to live. There's got to be something more to get me out of this butt pain. Anyway, I'm going to get over to the sewing machine. All right, so I'm stitching the pockets on. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, I think you can. And I brought both sides of the skirt over because I like to try to sew as much as I can at one time and then go over to press. I hope I turn my iron on. So I'm getting antsy again. You know, I work in my sewing room and I leave it for a while until I see if the flow's working for me. Well, the flow's not working for me. So, my idea next is to move all my machines over to where my cutting table's at. Let's see if you can see me. I'm cutting my head off. And then I'm going to bring my cutting table and my iron and my uh, embroidery machine on this side of the wall. So when I walk down the stairs, I walk right into my sewing studio. And this will be my ironing and pressing studio with the cutting. I'm going to bring the... Um, because I need this over where I'm cutting the pegboard more than I do over here where I'm sewing. So that's in my plans of rearranging my sewing room again, you guys. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, someday, I'll get the flow. And I still want to figure out how to put my uh, projector up for it to stay. But the way I want to set up my cutting table, my projector won't work. My short throw projector won't work for that. the drawing board I just have to get my sewing room in a in a place where I feel the flow is good oh my goodness gracious maybe I'll get my niece to come over and help me do it if not time on to get on the floor again old lady I don't think I caught that. So let's see. I have a lot of cool collabs coming up I'm excited about. Oh, when I did my shearing, I don't know if it was this fabric or maybe my elastic was too old, but it did work. It was easy enough to do, but it it just didn't do well on this fabric. So now I'm going to understitch. Then I'll go press. get it there. So hopefully this week I will have my sewing room rearranged. Someday I'm going to have to clean house.
Then I'm thinking about making me a vinyl t-shirt that has the initials J C S J C S and then underneath Jesus coffee and sewing. <laughs> yep, in that order. In that order. Okay, I'm gonna go give this a press, put them together, and then just go over to the sewing machine. Oh, I think I gotta put uh, my stitch line stitches in here first. So I think I'll do that. For the gathering. And get my bobbin thread. And I will go a quarter of an inch. to go about five eighths of an inch. Hopefully I'm supposed to do this now. I'm going to go over and press it and uh, put the two sides together. Okay, so I'm going to put the sides together. Now, I am guilty of reading the instructions. If there's a video, I'll watch it. And then after that, mm, unless I'm stumped, I don't go back to them. I kind of, I've made several mistakes that way. here I am going to surge it I am not going to sew it
crow, I should have made sure this lines up too. So when we went to lunch yesterday, I didn't even wear anything I made. My older sister was shocked. I bought this cute little top that pulls and I just wanted to wear it. It was so summery and cute and so we're going to bingo. I'm taking her to bingo in two weeks. And I'll wear maybe my new tempo dress here with my jacket, jean jacket, because I like my arms covered and it gets kind of cold in places. As long as I've been taking her to bingo, I have not bingoed once. Well, I take that back. I did bingo, but I bingoed with like 30 other people and I think I made... Uh, between three to five dollars. <laughs> Didn't even pay for my bingo. All right, I'm going to go see how good I can surge around all both sides. And uh, I'll take you over and let you watch me, so it might be a laugh. Sorry, I don't think I hit record. I got the first part of the pocket done. And what I was saying, I went to Walmart. They had their school supplies on sale. And I found a black office chair for $50. And I thought that was a good price. So I decided I'd try one. And I really like it. I really like it. So I might try to go get a couple more. And let's see if I can do this. all good looks like I caught everything and I'll try the other side perfect I should be cleaning house and not doing this ah, house will always be here
check them both out. That one's good. And that one looks good. All right, over to the ironing board. I got her done. So I'm gonna iron it and take you over to the cutting table. Okay. And I don't think it matters <clears throat> what's the front and what's the back. So I am just going to start gathering. Hopefully I didn't mess up the or sew over the stitch lines, stitchings, threads. I'll get it. I'm not used to talking as I as I sew. So we'll gather her up. This is going to have to go to one side or the other. So I got to make sure I keep them on the same side, the pockets. I keep the directions up on my laptop in case I need to run to them. I have my laptop over there by my iron. My iron. sides gathered now to the next when I'm done with this and I get my sewing room rearranged I'm making my grandbaby a dress she thought I was going to get it done this weekend and uh, it, it'll only take a day to get this sewing room the way I want it but uh, I just printed out a dress I just bought pattern but the sweetie pie from Ellie and Mac fit her so well I think I'm going to uh, compare to compare them to make sure they both fit nicely all right now I am going to say these pockets have to go to one side when I go to sew this So we're going to pick a side, and this is going to be it. I want to get them seams together. So this will be the front. This goes down and in like this. And I want to get the seams, which would be this. On the other seam. Hope I'm not boring you to death. Okay. 
Now start taking some of the gather up. Okay, I'll go ahead and get this all gathered because I don't want to keep you guys here for 10 hours while I'm gathering a skirt. So I'll get it done and I'll take you over to the sewing machine when I get it done and we'll sew this together. I can't show you the end product because that's for Friday sews. And then I'm going to work on getting the hem done too. I might do a, because I haven't tried that um, narrow hem on my new serger, so I might just try a narrow hem. I would have to switch out to red, but the reason I bought the serger is because it's easy to thread. So I have no excuse not to. So we'll see where I go with that. So I'll be back. Got it gathered, hopefully good enough. And so I am just going to start sewing and I'm going to serge it. I'm not going to sew it. And uh, hopefully I got it right. Here I go. I'm already at the other end.
right, I'm going to go press it and turn it over, but I can't let you see it because this is for my Friday Sews video. So I'll end it here. Hey, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. So go out, do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everybody and thanks for watching me kind of construct part of my tempo dress from Love Notions. Bye everyone.